Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallows Eve. I wish you guys the very best for this month of October. Let's get into your reading Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2021. Let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please speak to us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Show us through the vivid imagery the messages that are coming through for Aries for this month of October 2021. How are you guys doing, Aries? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Pretty excited. Here we go. All right. First card, we have the world card. So there is definitely a completion of something here. For some of you guys, this could represent um, connections. This could be work-wise, career, finances. There's a higher elevation here. There is uh, almost like being able to get to the point of releasing anything that is no longer serving you. Um, I do see achievements here. Um, and what they're saying is there's some type of achievement. There's some type of feeling um, like you've overcame something. For some of you guys, this could be romantically. For others, it could be in your career field, um, especially for those of you guys that have been experiencing a bit of resistance, almost like uh, people not making it that easy for you at work or if you felt at some point like you've been restricted or like people are not fully allowing you to grow within your field, that's no longer going to be uh, the case. Now, your next card here is the devil card. So releasing any toxic uh, energy. The, again, we go back to that of feeling uh, work-wise and career. If there was a feeling of like someone wasn't fully allowing you to shine or even taking credit for certain things that you did at some point, Aries, that's no longer going to be the case. The devil is here telling you with the world card that there's an ending cycle to any type of attachment, any type of restriction. Uh, especially those that are around you that perhaps are, you know, envious or jealous of you um, or that are intimidated by your light. Your next card here is the Eight of Cups. This is you walking towards a new beginning. Uh, this is you walking in collaboration here with the Three of Pentacles. So I definitely do see like you're shaking hands with the right people. You're being at the right time at the right moment for opportunities that are going to be opening up for you, Aries. It's very important and very crucial what I'm hearing to be confident and be aggressive when it's necessary. So when we're talking about career and finances, as an example, if you're being around, uh, you know, higher position employees or your supervisors or your managers, don't don't hold back. Speak up when we're talking about meetings, when we're talking about sharing ideas speak up allow your voice to carry that power that confidence within yourself that is going to allow you to stand out not only that but that it's going to have you shaking hands with the right people enough of being um enough of not allowing your full capacity your full potential uh to take place this this month is definitely about conquering for you uh, especially with the queen of swords here what they're telling you is be fierce, be methodical when making decisions. Uh, don't make decisions out of emotion. Use your mind, use your head, keep a cool head. More than anything, what they're telling you is be aggressive when it's necessary. No more biting your tongue. No more holding back, Aries. This month is going to be great. I hope that this gives you insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.